We're back in business, baby. Today we're starting with a task where I have to get one new item on the miscellaneous log page. Right now, that means I'll mainly be going for one of three things. A Dragonstone armor piece, an Amulet of Eternal Glory, or the Herbie Pet. The collection log. Okay, so I just put together all of my half keys, which makes it so we now have 282 full crystal keys. The only problem is, I have 5 crystal shards and you need 10 for every key to enchant it, uh, or enhance it, or whatever it is. So, I'll probably work on those a little bit. I also have about 50 glories here, but almost seven, well, over 700 dragon stones. So I think I'm gonna make a bunch of glory amulets while also working on getting crystal shards. Maybe hunt a bit of herbie in between. We're gonna do a bunch of different stuff here, I think. First things first, maybe I should go and uh, grow some crystal acorns for some shards as well over time. Before I commit to making glories, I wanna try the method where you just have one inventory and then you teleport up with the sword, you charge them, you uncharge them, you teleport back up and just go back and forth. I feel like maybe I don't need to make you know, all those glories. We're just gonna try this out and see if I like it. Maybe do like a couple inventories or whatever. Pause! Ah, oh, for fuck's sake. All right, this inventory is already gonna put us over 1,000 glories charged. I think I'm just gonna do 1,000 every single day. If I just start my day that way, you know, after a while we'll reach the drop rate of 1 in 25,000 eventually, I guess, on these miscellaneous tasks. And then I can just do some other content for the rest of the day. So there's the first 1,000, woo! Last inventory for day number two. 2,000 glories have been charged. No eternal glory yet. It should have been 2001, but I accidentally missed one glory on one of the inventories. We're not going to talk about that one. All right, the plan for the rest of today is hunt some herbie boar. Maybe we'll get lucky on the pet. Probably not. But I'm going to start working on alking some of my stuff in my bank as well, so I can start building that cash tech up again. Because I hate looking at a cash tech of like 500k. So let's go to Fossil Island, let's start hunting some Herbie. We're going to Alk. We're starting at 88 Hunter. Probably going to get like 90 today, maybe. We'll see. There's the first Hunter level, level 89, which is actually a pretty big level because this unlocks both Lucky Implings and Redwood Birdhouse traps as well. So we can start using those now. We already have the crafting level for it. The only thing I don't really have is Redwood Log, so I might start AFKing those while playing Extreme Log as well. So we can start getting those Redwood Birdhouse runs in. I feel like I can once again consider myself like a late game Iron Man with my cash tech no, long no longer being white. It's green again. This feels good. All right, last chance for day three. Here we go. 3,000 plus glories charged. No eternal glory yet. Let's go back to Herbie. Ah, oh, shit. I fucking... See, of course I miss it. Of course I miss it. But there's 90 Hunter. Lovely. Now we only have one, two, three, four skills left below level 90. That's pretty nice, you know. That is pretty nice. Up to 4,000 glories and no eternal glory. The cash deck is up to a healthy looking 50 mil already and we are nowhere near done. So we're going to double or even almost triple that, I think. Herbie Boar number 500. No pet. Oh, come on, man. One day I'm going to start recording before I get the hunter level at Herbivore, okay? It's like every single time I'm paying attention, I'm paying attention, I'm close to the level, I'm about to, I'm about to get it. And as soon as I get it, I missed it. <laughs> 91 hunter! Yay! Final inventory of the day, 5,000 glories charged. One-fifth of the way to the drop rate. Also, Gretz Force for the Abyssal Protector, 472 KC, very nice. Look at this, guys. The first time ever in the history of the account, we have 100 million coins. I feel so rich, and I still have so much room to alt. Look at this inventory. Ah, this is great. I'm done alking all of the items in my alk tab, and we are left with just under 160 million. I feel so rich, man. I feel like the richest man in the world. I'm loving this. Anyways, we're gonna finish this Herbie. That's gonna put us at 708 Herbie card while alking all of those items. That is a pretty decent amount. That's like over one tenth of the drop rate of the pet already. 
Tomorrow we're gonna do the 1000 glories again and after that we're gonna switch things up a bit and go for some different miscellaneous lock slot grinds. But that's a decent chunk of Herbie done already. Pretty happy with that. I can literally just clean all my herbs without a worry in the world because of all the money I have now. This is great, honestly. I'm loving this. That is minus two mil though, damn. <laughs> Ah, uh, brother. Anyways, time to switch things up. No more Herbie for a bit. We're going CG today. But first, a thousand glories again. Last inventory of day six. No eternal glory. All right, time to do some CG. With that being said, I do have enough crystal shards to open nine chests already from farming the crystal tree every day so far. So maybe we'll just get lucky straight away. All right, time to start chomping down on these 282 crystal keys. Do I just use it or I probably have to go to the bowl, right? Okay, there's absolutely no way I'm going to get an armor piece from these keys. But here goes nothing. We have zero KC on this chest. First time ever opening it. Oh my god, you get so many extra keys and we get some shards back as well. So we can definitely do one more. Oh my god, we got so many shards from that last one. We can do four more keys. Let's go. Aw, no shards from those. That's a shame. Oh well, time to do some CG now, I suppose, to get more shards. Maybe we'll get lucky and get the pet as well. Alright, first CG back. 275 total kill count. Don't mind the eyes of Newt. That was the first one I did, okay? Don't mind the eyes of Newt. Yo, let's go. Nine shards. That's basically one key there. Alright, it's gonna be the final CG for this first session. We're ending on 290 kill count. No shards or no elite clues from that, but we have 117 crystal shards. I said no shards, I meant no seeds. So let's see what we get from these next crystal keys. Here we go. Some good loot overall, as always, from CG. Also, look at that nice XP we get every time. So lovely. Road to 99 crafting and smithing this way. Here we go. I also brought my gem bag this time so I can put the dragon stones in there. Come on, a few more shards. No. Oh, well, we get an acorn. We get two more chances. And nothing. All right. Okay. No, my Wildy Boss gave entry fee. No. Well, we got set back 25 glories, but that's all right. We have plenty. The end of another day of a thousand glories. Up to 7,000. No eternal. Wait, that was actually so close to my PB. 741. If I was 11 seconds faster, I would have had a uh, combat achievement for that. That's not a bad first run of the day. Oh, hey, Elite Clue, finally. The first, well, I say finally. That was only like the 18th gauntlet in two days, but there's our first Elite Clue on this task. Lovely. Oh my god, another Elite Clue already. They're coming in quick now. Oh, hey, another Crystal Weapon Seed. Not the best one, but I can change that for another Acorn, which is another 12 shards or so on average, so that's nice. Dude, what is happening? I had an Elite Clue, back to back into Weapon Seed, back to back into Armor Seed. What the hell? That's gonna be 300 CG kill count. We're gonna call it there for today. I didn't do that many kills today, but we did get the armor seat that we can turn in for a lot of shards as well. So we're gonna do that and then make a bunch of keys. That is 250 crystal shards for the armor seed. 338 shards to work with. So we're starting with 33 enhanced crystal keys for this opening. Let's go. Here we go. Ooh, a dragon plate skirt. That's the first one of those. Oh my god! Yes! I got a Dragonstone full health! No way! Oh my god, we actually got an item on 60 chests! No fucking way, dude! Holy shit, look at it! Oh my god, we did it! We completed the first miscellaneous task with a Dragonstone armor piece! I am so happy with that! What? 60 chests opened! Oh baby, let's freaking go, dude! That is amazing, actually! Arguably, probably like the coolest one out of the set as well. The Dragonstone Full Helm. What an item to get, man! That was in the last inventory as well, I only had fifth. I only had five enhanced crystal keys left, but I guess we'll keep those for the next one. Oh my god. Wow, amazing. 60 elven crystal chests opened. We've completed 26 CG runs as well. And we did 708 herbivores. So we're also one tenth of the way to that pet for the next miscellaneous task. Very happy with that. Obviously, 7,000 glories charged as well. I forgot about that part. 
So we are making progress towards different miscellaneous slots, but we got the first one done, baby. Let's freaking go. I'm so happy getting a Dragonstone armor piece. Nice! 39 out of 52. Alright, before completing that task, I quickly want to mention that I've recently partnered up with Kick.com, which means for the next three months from March through May, I'll mainly be live streaming my OSRS progress over on Kick.com slash tedious. If you want to watch me grind both generate task and extreme log live on stream, head on over there and drop a follow. I'm genuinely super grateful that I got this opportunity as it got me motivated again to put in the hours on OSRS after being in a bit of a slow for the last three months and ultimately that just means that you guys will also be getting more consistent content once again on youtube so if you ask me it's a win-win for everyone i'll see you guys over on kick if you do decide to sign up and follow the live streams and now let's continue on to the next grind well i guess it's time to complete this task as well then the first miscellaneous lock slot completed there we go eight percent once again eight percent master let's go dude we're creeping up on ten percent already pretty happy with the progress so far unfortunately i can't generate the next task yet i would be able to if runelight merged my pull request at this time because i am waiting for them to add my pull request which is going to include all of the lower tiers because right now in the easy tier there's one new task again which is the the warped scepter which has recently been added so we will be going for that one first this was in a, this one is a new drop from the new quest as well so we are going to re-obtain our quest cape it's time to complete the path of gluffry and then we're gonna hunt some warped terror birds and warped tortoises tor tortoise tor tortoise warped creatures to get the warped scepter so that is going to be our next grind before we generate the next master task again Oh, and before I forget once again, I, I really need to start, like, remembering the fact that I get elite clues every time. We have two caskets to open. Just imagine we get a unique from these as well. Oh my god, the first casket, we get a duplicate with a master clue as well. All right, bet. We'll go do the master clue. Oh, this is really annoying. I can't use my music ape teleport because I don't have the new music tracks from the new quests. Ah, oh, whatever. I'm, I'm gonna do the master anyway, so I'll just run. All right, here we go. Let's open the other elite for... Oh, wow, that has to be one of the worst clue rewards I've ever seen in my life. What do we get from the Master Casket? Pretty much the same exact uh, junk. That was not good. Not great at all. All right, time to do the new quest, the Path of Gluffry. And then we can go for that Warped Scepter. Let's get our quest cape back. And music cape and diary cape trim and all that. I'm just gonna kill this one during the quest and no scepter, okay. Yay, Path of Gluffery completed and we now have 300 quest points, lovely. All right, everything unlocked again, beautiful. Let's get some strength XP that we don't need, some slayer XP, some thieving XP and some magic XP apparently, let's go. Time to actually kill the monsters in there to get the one in 320 warped scepter. See along the stakes then. They do drop some good alchemals, so we might make some money along the way as well. It's gonna be the end of the first trip. We did about 200 kills already, so it goes by super fast with the cannon. So I expect to be done with this very soon. There we go. That is like almost exactly on the drop rate, actually. We killed 236 warp terror birds and 72 warp tortoises. So that equates to 308 in total. Just 12 kills short of the drop rate. Lovely. The warped scepter that we will never use. Oh, you need to charge it to wield it? then we won't even see what it looks like. <laughs> okay, how much? Look, if I'm trying to add one charge, how many do you think I want to add? There it is. The Warped Scepter. Cool. Whoa! I splashed, of course, because I'm in full armor. But th there it is. The Warped Scepter is going in the bank, never to be seen again. Well, it's that time again to roll the next master task now. And I'm always very scared, but there's a, you know, a bunch of decent tasks. I feel like it's probably going to be super quick, right? It's, it's going to be a CA task and I only have to get 10 points, okay? That's what it's going to be. That's what I'm predicting. Here we go. Oh, it's a new 99. It's a new 99. Okay, that's fine. That's actually good, you know? A new 99 means that we are going for 99 prayer. Because that's definitely the best option I have right now. Getting 99 prayers is going to help with so many other, like, boss tasks and whatnot. 
So it's time to use all of our prayer supplies in the bank that we've been, you know, keeping here for a while. This is not going to get us to 99 just yet, but it's going to get us to 97 something, I think, close to 98 even. So we'll probably have to kill some more dragons afterwards to finish 99, but it's going to get us a long way already. So according to the banked XP calculator on Runelight, I'm just about gonna hit 98 prayer with everything I have, so we better get started. I'm using my full zealot now, of course, and we're going through all of the bones in my bank, starting at 86 prayer, 13 levels to go. First level, yay! 87 prayer. Does that give us a combat level already? No, we need three more levels, okay. So at 90 prayer, we'll get 125 combat. Oh, hey, I got 88 prayer. Yay. Almost done with the baby dragon bones now, so the XP per hour is going to fly up very soon, and I'm excited for that. 89 prayer. Yay, 90 prayer. And I got killed, but <laughs> there's 90 prayer at 125. Dude, there's so many people PKing at the altar. I've died like 10 times or something. I don't even know. I've lost track. So many people killing me for a single inventory of bones, it's depressing, man. Honestly, <laughs> I'm losing XP. I'm not gonna make it to 98 anymore with what I have in the bank. 91 prayer. Whoa, no way, 92. That's like halfway of 99. Wow. Nope, uh, going too fast again, but we got 93 prayer. And also 2150 total level. Baby, we're flying up. Let's go, dude. Guys, 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 guys. 94 prayer. Oh my god, the final five levels. And there's 95 prayer. And this also marks the point in time where we're running out of good bones. And soon I'll have to resort to using my worm bones and all of the shitty and sold heads in my bank. Which is going to make me hate this even more as it's going to be terrible XP rates. And I'm also still getting killed every single inventory almost. What are you doing, Eddie? One more bone, go! Yes! We win, L. Mm, 96, yay! I think I'm... Yeah, I'm gonna be just sure to hit 97 with bones still. But we'll finish using all these worm bones and then it's onto the unsold heads to get us to, well, 97. Just short of 98 probably. Well, that was the last bone that I had right now. So we are done with the bone using on the altar for now. We are just about... Wait, let me put this back to normal. We are 165,000 XP away from 97 prayer. And it's time to start using all of my ensouled heads. So this is what we're working with. These 12 different heads. I am going to keep like 10 or 20 abyssal heads because they are used for a master clue step. So I'm not going to use all of them. But I'm just gonna go from low level to high level. It's gonna take a while to go through all of these because that's like over a thousand, but let's get started. This is great fun. Reanimating these giants can't stop loving it. It's uh, whatever. 97 prayer to, down to the final two levels, but I only have enough for like, you know, three fourths of this level. So after that, we'll have to kill a bunch of green dragons still to finish this grind, but 97, pretty nice, eh? Is it the one? Oh, it's always such a disappointment when it's not. Of course it isn't. Well, we get a diamond. I guess that's better than usual. Well, that was the last and sold head I'm using. I still have like 20 abyssal heads in the bank, but I'm keeping that for the monster clue steps. We're 230k XP short of 98. So we still have like 1.5 mil XP to go. And for that, I guess it's time to collect some bones by killing green dragons. This is still going to take a while. I need like 3000 of them. But that's probably going to be the best option for me right now. So time to start bone collecting. Well, we're making progress. I think we're about halfway done with banking the remainder of the supplies that I need. I'm at 1519 dragon bones now. I'm also getting these unsold heads, of course. So these are going to be a nice bonus XP as well. And I'm getting the scaly blue dragonite, so we're also banking some blue dragon scales along the way. I think it's probably like 250 to 300 kills an hour, so, you know, just a few more hours and we'll be done here. Also, I'm gonna have to start chopping some redwoods in between because I have one redwood log in the bank and I start using them for my daily birdhouse run, so I should probably get to that as well. You know what, I think with this amount of dragon bones alongside the 70 and soul dragon heads that I got as well, we should have enough 
to go ahead and get 99 prayer. As long as I don't die to too many PKers and lose too many bones, we should make it. And if that does happen, I guess I'll just get some more. But we'll see what happens. It's time for the final stretch of this grind. Let's get that 99. Here we are, one level away from finishing the task. We got 98 prayer and also max combat level now. Level 126. Let's go. Just one more prayer level and we are out of here. All right, that's going to be the final inventory of bones. We only have 68,000 XP left now. And we're going to finish that off with the unsold dragon heads that we got. The final dragon is going down. The grind is over. There it is. 99 prayer. We have maxed out all of our combat stats now. And that is our task completed. Took a bit of time because we had to gather more supplies and all that. But I'm very happy with having 99 prayer now. First 99 task completed. Obviously plenty more to come. I think I might be going for a construction on the next one. Because I feel like having a construction skill cape is also going to be super useful for the account. But do we get the back to back? That's the question. Alright, let's see what our next task will be. Let's complete this one. Boom. First 99 task completed, 9% in the master tier. Like I said, plenty of 99 tasks left, because obviously we're going for max, and that was only the first one. Let's get a CA task, actually. I keep forgetting about these, but one of those would be instantly completed. Let's do that, shall we? It would be funny if my next task is going to be the Vorkath unique after I spend time getting bones to get this 99 prayer. That would be ironic to get the Vorkath uh, grind now, but surely that won't happen, right? Oh, oh, it's another boss pet or jar. Oh, brother. I mean, that's not bad, though. That is not bad because this means, like I said earlier when I was going for the first one, this means that I can grind some muspa. That's probably my plan. I want to do either Kriara for one of the items so I can fortify my Missouri mask and then just grind muspa to get the Venator shards to make a Venator bow. So, I think that's probably the plan. Okay, let's get a quick uh, still baguette. Casket, 20 coins. Okay, I have formulated a plan. It's very simple. We are currently 295 Phantom Muspa KC and we are missing the pet. And of course, four Venator shards to get the Venator bow as well. The plan is to just camp Muspa to start this task. And I'm going to camp Muspa until I either get the pet or 2500 total KC to reach the pet drop rate. After that, I'm going to do boss slayer and we'll also probably get some AVNC tasks along the way to do some Kriara to get that Missouri mask fortified. But for now, we're just going to camp Muspa and we'll see how much loot we can get from that. Maybe we'll get the pet early, but I kind of hope we don't get it before we get four more Venator shards. So let's get started. Just doing the range only method. Of course, we can also use the Ring of Shadows now, which is pretty nice to get there. Look at that. Straight to Muspa. Beautiful. All right, five kills in. We're up to 300 total KC now. Obviously still getting these crack drops with all the Renar seeds and everything else. We're gonna get a lot of loot from this grind. Of course, the jingle sound for the first time is just a frozen cache with some coal in it. I think that's gonna be the end of the first trip because I am kind of out of food and stuff. Yeah, that should be good. Look at all this loot though. Like my, <laughs> my entire inventory is basically filled to the brim. 2 million loot already from the first trip, 22 kills in. Am I safe here? I hope so. That is gonna be a terrible clip, oh my god. <laughs> that is the money kill right there. 4 dragon plate legs? Look at that. Hey, there it is, finally dude. 379 kill count. We got our second Venator shard. Two down, three to go. Let's get that bow. Kill number 400 in total. We did 105 kills straight. Just one shard so far. I'm just gonna be doing 100 kills of this guy every day and slowly but surely we'll get to the drop rate of the pet. Hopefully we'll get some elite clues along the way as well because so far I didn't get any even though the drop rate is 1 in 50 so I would have expected two today but I guess they'll catch up next time. 
Making some more prayer potions to prepare for day two of Muspa. And there's a Herdler level 92. We can now make super anti-fire potions and ancient mix. Beautiful. There it is, finally, the first elite clue of this grind after 119 kills. It's a 1 in 50 drop rate, so kind of expected a few more at this point, but finally one in there. Start stacking these caskets again. You got no way! Already on the 15th kill of the day, we get the next Venator Shard, baby. Lovely. And there's a second elite. Once again, took a bit of time, but we can go ahead and do that one as well. Elite number three. They're coming in now. Let's go. Kill number 500 in total. This is, I mean, technically the drop rate, right, for a Venator bow, but we're still only three out of five. So hopefully the next two will come in swiftly tomorrow. This is a quick public service announcement. If you use the companion pet plugin and you select the squirrel as your thrall, it does little spins on every attack. And I think everyone should know. And I think everything, everyone, I'm, eh? and I think everyone should start using that now. Whoa, new PB 138? Dude, if I got the smite face skip there, I would have had the sub 130 for the GM task, 100%. Damn, 138, that's f uh, three seconds faster than the previous PB, I think. Plus, we got another elite clue as well. That's the first ancient icon we've had on this task in 286 kills. Pretty crazy, actually. Not that it's still useful for anything, but... It's just weird that I've only had one in all these kills. <laughs> oh my god! Wait, is that the next kill? That's the next kill after the Ancient Ike and we get a Venator Shard as well on the Venator Shard tile. There it is. We're just one away now from the full bow. No way. I just logged in to finish my final 11 kills of the day and I got my very last Venator shard. Oh my god, we've got them. We've got the five shards, so now I can make the Venator bow. Let me finish these 10 daily kills and then let's make that bow. Well, there's another ancient icon as well. I guess today was a day of a lot of uniques. All right, finished the 100 daily kills up to 600 total KC. Now 304 kills on this task and we can now combine the Venator shards into a Venator bow. There it is. It's uncharged, but we have plenty of essence to charge this bad boy as well. We have 450k essence so far. I believe the max charges are 50k, so we're just going to use the essence on that. Use 50,000 charges on it. And there we have it, a fully charged Venator bow. Looking beautiful. Let's continue this grind. We still have 1900 kills to go until we reach the drop rate of the pet. But at least we have the bow now, so I'll gladly take the pet now. Now all of a sudden the ancient icons keep coming in as well. Seven kills into the new day, we get our third one. <laughs> Another one. Oh, I didn't even realize I was close to that. But we just got 60 million hit points XP. Yay, healthy. And uh, there's 60 million range as well. A few minutes later. Look at that. We are getting up there in the <laughs> XP on both of those. They're kind of even, but I guess range is going to take over now. For the first time in a long time, hit points is not going to be my highest XP. And just like that, the icons caught up. Five icons now on this grind. Kill 700. Another day done on the job. Tomorrow we go again. Hey, another elite clue. Number five now. We're still behind so many elite clues. I should have had like eight by now, so... Hold up, baguette. No! Hey, we get another Venator Shard. Look at that. I mean, we don't need these anymore, but I'm pretty sure I can break these down into 50,000 Ancient Essence or something like that. So they're just going to stack up more Essence for us, give us more charges on the bow and whatever. So they are still a pretty good drop, I guess. Two rolls at a stale baguette in a single day? Has to be. <laughs> it's Mithril Semikata. Oh damn, I just glanced at my loot tracker and we hit exactly 100 million GP value now in 489 kills. Pretty wild how much ex how much GP you get from this. Oh shit, another Venator shard? God damn. The money's rolling in if I was a normal account, I guess. But for me, it's just essence. Yay, another elite clue right before ending today's must possession. Another day, another day. 800 KC. Venator Shard with a clue scroll elite. Holy shit. I think this is a new PB. This is gonna be like 132 or something. 134? Oh my god! Oh my god, that could have totally been the sub 130. Holy shit. Damn. 
Hey, elite. The farming's paying off again, guys. Look at this. 93 farming. Oh, hello. Venator shard. Yay, elite number nine. What the hell? Another elite claw already on 888 eight, eight kill count now. Oh my god, I actually accidentally opened my elite clue. God fucking damn it. And I actually get a master clue from it as well. For fuck's sake. Ah, uh, well, I guess I'll just bang the master casket then. Oh yeah, there it is. 900 kill count. Wow. Now soon we will have four digits. Looking forward to it. The 11th clue scroll. Another elite clue. Wait, wait. Yes, we got it. Oh my god, 128. Look, we got the Grandmaster Combat Task. Let's go. Oh, we got the 130. Wait, how many points do we have now? 946. So only four more CA points until we complete another 50 CA point task passively. Very nice. I'm happy with that. We started using ruby bolts at the start of the kill, so that definitely helped with that one, I reckon. And we got the smite skip. Beautiful. Elite clue. Whee. I'm kind of going to go for the other CAs as well at this point, because I may as well go for green lock CA while I'm going for green lock call log, and then I also get the CA task done passively. So that's the plan after we do this elite. The hell? Another elite clue. Jesus. Hey, there we go. We got both tasks done. We got the space is tight and the phantom must pat manipulator. That means we can now also complete one of the CA tasks because we reached another 50 point threshold and we only have one CA left at the must pat, and that is doing a kill with a salamander. So I guess I'll do that one as well. Let's just go ahead and complete that one because like I said, we hit 950 now. So we can mark another one of the 50 CA point tasks as completed. Already the second one and both were passive, but that's just how it goes when you're doing these bosses the entire time, I guess. Boom, there we go. Lovely. Wait, if I run away, it's gonna spike here, right? It's not gonna spike there. I was smart, but then I was dumb because I didn't pray range. Ah! Did I just lose my salamander because I died? Oh my god. That is the most ridiculous thing ever. I need to go catch a new salamander. God, this game. There we go, more than just a ranged weapon. We have completed all of the combat achievements for Muspa. Let's just take a quick look at it. Bosses, Phantom Muspa, there it is, green logged on the CA log that is. But yeah, 13 out of 13, all completed. Okay, we ran into a bit of a situation where I don't have a single blood rune anymore. I have like 20 at this point, so we gotta fix that. And they have recently added the Scar Essence Mine, so I think it's about time we go ahead and try that out and splash some cash on some blood runes, so let's go give that a crack. Okay, so I get the Tainted Essence, then I deposit it in here, and then I guess you put money in the coffer, and then you get the stuff out of it. That's pretty much it, right? Okay, so now I just make Scarred Extracts. That'll cost me 26.8 mil, that's all right. Yes, I'm sure. Cool. Now we just gotta figure out how to craft these properly into blood runes. So this is actually the first time I'm ever using the real blood altar. Unfortunately, this requires 93 agility and I'm, well, 92. So I guess I'll have to use a summer pie to get into this cave, but let's see how this goes, man. Do I need to mine something from the other? How do I, how does this work? Oh, you need to activate this? What the hell? Oh, that's how it works. Oh, see, I've never used that either. Oh, and it, it's going in my rune pouch. Oh, I was so confused. Okay, cool. Okay, and now we go mine the thing so we can enter through the thing next time we get to the, the thing. Okay, we're done with our little rune crafting session. How many blood runes did we accumulate? 69,000. Nice. All right, lovely. Another elite clue. God damn. Here it is. The big 1,000 muspa kill count. You know how I said I was gonna go for 2,500? Well, I changed my mind. I want to switch things up a bit because I've been in this room for way too much time the last week and we're just gonna do some Slayer probably to do some other bosses as well. So we're gonna start doing that from now, but we are at 1,000 Muspack KC and we'll probably come back here sometime soon. So we're gonna start doing some Slayer for this boss grind and well, Turns out I still have 80 spiders in the wilderness left and as we look at the Venonata's log, all we're missing is the pets, so that kind of plays out fairly nicely. I guess I'll just finish this task and I'll probably do some Duradal Slayer afterwards, but let's see if we get lucky. It would be a very early green log, but... Oh hey, 500 total Spindle KC. Oh hey, a Larensky. That one can go in the bank and we'll open that when we get a Slayer log slot task. Hey, a Dragon Two-Handed Sword. No way. What a drop. <laughs> 
Fangs of Venonatus together with Alerinsky. That is pretty wild. End of the spider task. Get some red spider eggs. We'll take it. All right, time to head over to Duradel. Let's see if he gives us a good task for some boss pet hunting. Ideally, we want to get some hellhounds, abyssal demons, or gargoyles, I suppose. Because then I can do those slayer bosses where I'm missing both the pet and the jar. And obviously, I can only do those on slayer tasks, so... Okay, here we are. One thing I'm gonna probably do is unblock greater demons, so that if I get a greater demon task, I'm going to Krill for a chance at the pet there. I'm not sure what I'm gonna replace it with just yet, but I also don't have points to replace it with anything, so we'll have to figure that out, I suppose. Hopefully we get something that we can do a boss at straight away. I don't know if I have to change anything else necessarily right now. Shit, I don't have AVNC tasks right now. Ah, uh, I need to get some points one way or another. Uh, we'll see what happens, I suppose. But I definitely want AVNC so I can go to Kriara as well. Sukwas? Yeah, I'm not doing that. Okay. I think I'm gonna do some Turial skipping. Well, first I'm gonna do some point boosting so I can get points to um, unlock AVNCs again and also have enough points for another block. Okay, I just realized I still have this 25 streak going from doing all the Turial task during Wildy Slayer last time. So I'm actually gonna do this Sukwa task right now. Okay, we're at 29 tasks. We're gonna get a Duradel task now. It's gonna be a good one. <laughs> That's taking the piss. You're such a moron, Duradel. Okay, we'll kill some more Sukkos. Okay, so it turns out I don't have Gargoyles extended yet either, which I do want. But first things first, I'm going to unlock AVNCs again. Watch the birdie. Yes, thank you very much. Now we're gonna do another Duriel task, which is gonna give me enough points to, I guess, extend Gargoyles. And then I'm gonna do nine more Duriel, and then the task after that will give me enough points to block another task. Or the other way around, we'll figure it out. But the next task is going to be Duke Succulus, really? Well, I mean, I guess I am missing that pet as well. I am missing some other items as well, so we might complete another DT2 unique passively from this. I guess I'll do max kills. 55 Duke coming up. No way! Oh my god! The third kill, I get Eye of the Duke. <laughs> oh my god, I'm such a spoon. What? 70 total KC, three kills into this task, I get Eye of the Duke. No way, man, what the fuck? I'll oh, take that. I guess before I forget, I will mark that one as completed, but Jesus Christ, I wasn't expecting that. That's for sure, but we can mark one of the DT2 uniques as completed. All the way at the bottom here, one DT2 boss unique, bling. There we go, 10% master. And that's the end of the Duke task. We get some points, so now we have 100 points to extend gargoyles, I guess, or to skip, uh, to block Sukwas. But I'm probably gonna do nine more Turial tasks and then do the 50th Duradel and then we'll have plenty of points. Also, don't worry about my inventory. No, I didn't die. I, I have, I always have, I, 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 I always have two rings of shadow on me, okay? Okay, gargoyles extended. We're at 49 task streak. Task 50 is going to be... We did it. We killed the cave horrors. I kind of forgot to bring bracelets to skip the task as well. Or like to make it go faster. But it is what it is. So now we can go back to Duradel and we have some points. We have 100 points to use to block Sukwas when we get them. And then we also have, I guess, four skips to work with. Okay, Dark Beasts I'll just do because they are very quick. And there you have it. After we spend 100 points to extend gargoyle tasks, we have 237 gargoyles. I guess it's time to put our Venator bow to good use. Let's give it a crack at the grotesque guardians. We only have 274 total kill count right now because we kind of spooned the uniques. But we're still missing the pet and the jar. So not a bad task to get really for the task we're currently on. Okay, here we go. We got the setup ready with the Venator bow. Again, haven't really used this ever, so this is gonna be first try at that. Hopefully it'll go well, but it should be good once we get a few kills in, I reckon. Hey, there we go. That's a elite combat task done. I believe that was 10 kills in one trip. There's also a task to get 20 kills in one trip, so we'll see if we can manage that. Also, that is a granite ring. That's a unique drop that we obviously already have, but... All right, I think that should be 20 kills now on this one trip, so that's another combat achievement done. Well, there's 300 total kill count now. I also just tied my PB again. I definitely think I can get the sub 140 kill if I just get good RNG on one of these kills. Yay, new PB by one second. <laughs> oh wait, what the fuck? 143. That didn't even feel like a quick kill. Just need three more seconds shaved off now for the CA. Wait, what did I do? Wait, 
Was that the five kills? Oh, hey, I did it. I wasn't even... What? <laughs> okay, cool. We actually got the five kills in a row without um, f failing anything. I wasn't paying attention to that. I thought I would never get it. What? Okay, we'll take that. Cool. Now we just have the speed tasks left, which we're not going to get the 120 anytime soon. But like I said, the 140, I think we'll get that sometime soon if we get a lucky kill. Really? 141. Oh my god, so close. Any moment now. I was just gonna say that was such a good P4. Look at that, 134. Seven seconds faster than my previous PV. We did it. Nice. Now the only thing missing is the 120, but that's another 14 seconds. I don't know about that one. What do you mean, granite gloves? Okay, I didn't get a single food drop or brew drop, so we're gonna have to bank. Oh, hey, and now we've had every unique drop other than the core <laughs> in 100 kills. We've had a hammer, we've had a ring, we've had gloves, and we've had a granite mall as well. Oh, dude, you're taking the piss, actually. There's three! There's three! <laughs> what the fuck is that? <sighs> okay, listen, that was just... I could not do anything about that. I mean, I could, but some things happened, and... I know that I don't have any money left in my death coffer, so we are sacrificing one of our Zenite shards again. No! Oh my god, we got the jar! Oh my god! Jar of stone, 418 kill count. That is one in 5,000. That is more rare than the pet. Oh my god, wow. I mean, I will take... Dude. Grotesque Guardians, if I get the pet now, I'm gonna have the most spooned experience ever here. This is ridiculous. I got all the different uniques before 300 kill count, and now I get a 1 in 5k jar at 418kc. Wow. That is pretty cool. Pretty good. Pretty good. We'll take that. Um, well, let's wrap things up here and let's get out of here. The jar collection grows. We now have six total jars. I, I don't even know how many there are. Honestly, it would be cool to have like an all jar section on the collection log next to all pets so we could see them all together. But no pet on this task, but we did get a jar. Also, here's the log for Grotesque Guardians now. For 18 kills, we have a core, three gloves, four rings, two hammers, and the jar. Just missing the pet now for the green log. I mean, we could get back-to-back -back tasks, so maybe we can continue? Here we go. <sighs> Let's complete that one. That's already the third boss pet or jar task that we complete, because we have the Chaos Elemental Pet, and then the jar from Zolra, and the newly obtained jar of stone as well. There's still ten more, though, so... Plenty of chances to get a back-to-back -back here, I suppose, but I guess we'll see what the next task is. Let's see. What do I want? I don't want Skilling Pit, okay? Anything but Skilling Pit. <laughs> oh my god, it is back-to-back -back boss pet or jar. <laughs> well, I guess we'll continue the Grotesque Guardians then. We'll, go we'll see if we can green log that. <laughs> Fuck's sake, man. That's fine. It's all right. Okay, listen, so I started this new task again, right? And as per usual, I forgot about my elite caskets. Well, guess what? We have 14 elite caskets and a master casket to open right now. So let's do that before we continue this Grotesque Guardians task. All right, let's start with these elite caskets. And we'll probably get, you know, like two or three more masters from that, right? So here goes nothing. Okay, master on the first one. Let's do that. All right, 13 elites to go. Back to back master. Back-to-back -back master? Oh my god, okay. There's no way we're gonna get three back-to-back -back master clues. See? Oh, a duplicate royal gown bottom. A duplicate Shazian scarf. A duplicate briefcase. That's so many uniques from elite clues, but no new one. What if we just don't get a master clue anymore now? It's starting to look that way. Oh, another duplicate top hat. Damn. The last one is trash. Damn, we did get a lot of items, but unfortunately they were all duplicates. We do have the three master caskets now, so maybe we'll get something from those. Nothing. Nothing. And... Yes! On the very last casket we open, we get the rope top of darkness. There we go. Plus one. We'll gladly take that one new unique from that opening. 17 out of 49 on the master clues now. Just missing two pieces of the Robes of Darkness set. Now let's continue those Grotesque Guardians. 